Good afternoon, everyone. In this edition of the ICT Trades Analyzed, we're going through his two trades from March the 2nd, 2023, and we'll start with the first one. It says, when you see the real market and understand how the algo runs for the liquidity before lunch. So, uh, music credit, and then breaker turn inversion plus uh, bear, bearish breaker turns inversion, bullish breaker, tightrope walking stop loss. So, all of his concepts can be inverted. So if their value gap can be inverted, a breaker can be inverted, uh, order block can be inverted. They can all work in both directions. Um, I would say that it, it, takes some, it takes some time getting used to that idea. But all right, let's get right into it. So uh, do you see how Twitter keeps playing the music? Um, so he's got the sell side liquidity marked out at 3943 uh, evens. And whenever you have sell side liquidity taken, you would then uh, preferably want to see it go take out buy side liquidity. So it's always important to note which uh, liquidity was last taken. Um, from point one to point two, that is high, low, and high. So that is ICT bearish breaker. Now he's got ICT bearish breaker, uh, doesn't have it marked all the way from uh, from point A, which would be the number one, to point B. He's only got it on the lower black candle, which uh, is interesting. That's not exactly how he teaches it. Um, but in any event, um, he's got that marked out. He's also got a short-term buy side liquidity marked out and a volume imbalance marked out where my cursor is. So, all right. And then he's got some sort of a higher time frame gap from 39.54 halves to 39.57 halves. So let's take a watch. Let's see where that first execution comes in. So the first execution is going to be a buy execution right on that bearish breaker turn inverted. So do you see how he, he enters right at the market? When he sees what he wants to see, he enters right at the market. Doesn't wait for a limit order like someone like me. Um, just enters right at the market. And then stop loss is just right on the low of the inverted uh, inverted bearish breaker. And um, let's see if it's anything else. I mean, it could also just be an inverted wick. He's on the E-mini S&P 500. It is a one minute chart. So, okay. Video is sped up as you can tell. Okay, so second execution comes on at the market as the market creates this bullish order block. So do you see how those two black candles, and then when price trades one candle above, the first black candles open, it becomes a bullish order block. So that's the second execution. Not sure what the third execution was. So now that's a bearish breaker inverted. Let's see where the fourth, if he puts on another execution, so what is that measured move? That measured move is from the leg where my cursor is up to that high. And the ideal target would be the one. That would be a full measured move. Um, but that's also giving you an idea if the market wants to remember the mirror principle measured moves. Uh, when the market moves, it tends to move symmetrically in these measured moves, basically, or one standard deviation. So he's got that marked out, basically. Uh, that leg right there from cursor to cursor and then he has that marked out as a measured move. And so he's long 12, but he's just showing you the different uh, entry mechanisms. The video is sped up, so let's see what time of the day it is. It is um, 110 to 120, so we're, we're coming at the end of the lunch hour. Right, so looking at his measured moves, he's saying that Part of the contracts are going to come off at the half measured move, and the second half would come off at the full measured move. That's what that's saying. He's long more. As, as it retests the inverted breaker. Let's see if he gets on any more uh, executions comes down below that bullish order block. Okay.
So he's adding on contracts as it comes in and reclaims the bullish, uh, sorry, bearish inverted breaker. Playing a tightrope with the stop loss. My entry would probably be on the uh, says, I am trading against the tide of dollar. However, I suspect the ES will punish the short at See, he's just ripping off those contracts as it comes up to target. So I don't think he says whether March the 2nd was like FOMC or anything, but um, you can see that it's all market entries. Uh, he does sometimes enter in on stops, but otherwise it's all market entries. Um, in, those, in that video, you saw the concept of the inverted, uh, inverted breaker, uh, draw on liquidity, and he did also mention dollar index. Okay, so second execution video, also from March the 2nd, 2023. See PM session trading, new week opening gap to new week opening gap. Okay, so he's already long at the market, and let's see where these came in. So do you see that BISI right there? You can see the price was respecting that BISI, and the draw on liquidity was higher. So he entered in um, at the market as the price came back and tested that buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. And Twitter just always wants to play that damn music. Okay. That was from earlier in the day. We saw that on the last video. So now he's long on a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency with a drawn liquidity higher. Now notice that his profit limit is not at the full re-delivery of the new week opening gap. His contracts are coming off at the just the bottom part of the new week opening gap because any any inefficiency can reverse price. We have to be careful with inefficiencies, highs and lows. Okay. Next execution came on at this sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency inverting. So you can see, I don't know if he's going to draw that in a box, but it's where my cursor is. That would be like a very concerning entry to me. I wouldn't take that entry, but it's, do you see how that's a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency that's inverting? That's what that is. It's inverted for value gap entry. Okay, the stop is now break even. See if he takes off any contracts at the market. So we're now up at that new week opening gap, and that's a full pull. So he did not take off any parcels there. He's showing you the executions. And so what were the executions for this video? Well, the draw on liquidity was to a new week opening gap, which was on the high side. Okay, The, in, the first entry came in um, 
just above this buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. Second execution came in as the market came back and reclaimed that busy. That would be a reclaimed buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. The next two contracts came on as this sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, or SIBI made a f inverted fair value inverted fair value gap or IFEG, and that was the third execution. He did a full exit of the position as the market reached the bottom side of that new week opening gap. So that was the first target concept, right? And so in total, you can see that on his, on his first couple of entries, he made about 10 points, and the second entry, he made five points, uh, which is a very healthy and respectable profit, a good scalp here. And that's really what you should be aiming for. Uh, if you're on the ES, aim for that five points, aim for that 10 points. If you're on the NASDAQ, aim for 10, 20 points. Uh, that should kind of be your average bread and, bread and butter trade. Uh, so just to give you an idea. Um, all right, guys. This has been March the 2nd, 2023 from ICT's Twitter Analyzed.